Hello. I feel like I'm filming for my own channel here. It's been a long time, but no, this is Talk Ever After. Welcome to Talk Ever After. You're on the right channel. I really want to do something for Jamie to help pick up her mood and make her feel a bit happier because she's not been feeling the best lately with everything going on. She can't visit her family. They're in a different country and like, you, I can't begin to imagine. She's the most important thing to me and I love her the bits. I just want to do anything I can do to pick up her mood. Looking back over what we were doing before that she really liked, we went to this amazing little afternoon tea at a local garden center and they served it on a picnic bench. I found a wooden picnic bench online. See, I'm going to try and make an afternoon tea for Jamie Jo as a surprise to pick up her mood tomorrow. The challenge here, however, I need to make some of the things like scones and shortbread because I couldn't find the shortbread I wanted, but I also need her to not find me in the kitchen. I'm gonna get some macarons, tea, staple part of an afternoon tea, make some sandwiches. I got like a little like um, tablecloth. Uh, it's actually napkin, because napkins would kind of like be a tablecloth because an actual real tablecloth would be too big. Table for squirrels. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Scottish shortbread. For this, I need 350 grams of flour, 125 grams of caster sugar, and some butter. Let's do it. This is probably the most rushed shortbread I've made. Um, it said to flatten it with your hand on the ingredient. Um, well, I kind of said flatten it, um, which I did that. And it said flute the edges, and I'll be honest, I didn't quite gather the flute part and didn't want to look it up, so I've just... Butchered the edge of the shortbread with a fork. That looks so bad. Okay, the scones are apparently a bit easier, so I need 350 grams of self-raising flour. I'm actually going to halve this. I'm going to do 175 grams of self-raising flour. died but here is the shortbread looking quite good and then over here I'm about to try and make some scones I don't have a cutter so I'm gonna use a glass Boosh, pull up, and there is our scone ready to go in at 22 past midnight time to put this into action actually next day I should probably open the window for some light I feel like that Took away the cool colors, but that's fine. Um, these are ready now. So these are cooled down overnight and stored. They actually look not too bad. Nice and homemade, so I'm really happy with how they turned out. And then of course we have the shortbread, which I couldn't um, buy in the shapes I wanted. So I made myself, and I think it's great. So this morning I did a bit of a errand run. I bought a gigantic Victoria sponge. So, and I'm about to go make some sandwiches, and then we're good. It did rain overnight and looked really bad this morning, but the sun has come out, so nature is on my side today. I have all the goodies, this gigantic sponge, and some bread. Cheer up is ready to go. I'm gonna get her, have her close her eyes so she sees none of this. 
I'm not gonna do it. Timmy doesn't know what to expect. No. Okay, cool, you ready? So here's the challenge. You're gonna have to go through the room with your eyes closed. Step up. Uh -huh. Cool. And then you can open your eyes, just don't look inside. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can open your eyes now. Okay. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> you, you must guard the table from the it's wind. Away. I need you to guard the table now. I have some tea for you, my dad. Your choice of mug. Kirby. I'm gonna help you pick up the table real quick. Okay, we moved inside because the wind was too nuts outside. I'm gonna go get Jamie. But here it is. Okay. Open your eyes. I wasn't like, quite expecting like life that. before this. So for what did we do before all this craziness happened? And I wanted yeah. to give you the exact same thing we had. So I two weeks ago I ordered a custom wooden bench online and it finally came and then I, I stayed up late last night and made some shortbread from hand to get the little triangles like the ones we had. Aww. I tried my hand at making my own scones. I've got some backup actual really MS scones if they're not good. I made some egg mayo, some ham, this is exactly what we had. Mine's the brown bread, if you're not a big fan of brown bread. No, it's there's some tea, and there's some Costco sponge I went and got today, and some macarons in your Mickey jar. I love you. I love you the best. You're the most important thing in the world. You are. Playing Kirby Cafe music for Jamie as well. My first baking video in years. Probably, probably like at least a year, I don't know. Really, literally is. Oh, did you actually like film yourself like making everything? I filmed bits of that's it, but then cool. the camera died. Oh, that's that's. So it's gonna be like, <laughs> in the final video, if I, when I edit it, it'll be like clips of like, this. Oh look, here are these fully mixed scones, but also there was a bit where like, it needed a food processor for the scones. I didn't want to wake Jamie up with a food processor because it was past midnight. So I ended up having to do it with my hands. I didn't want to film myself doing it with my hands. That's, that's very good. Yeah, you just gotta know when to stop filming with your hands. Look at the bench. Wow. Jamie's discovering the bench. Oh my god, it's so cool. It's so tiny. Oh my god, we gotta get pictures of Kira to with it. 